Hello, my subbies. I miss y'all. Anyway, uh, as the title says, things that first generation college students go through. Okay, I know I may look like I'm looking off at something else, but I am. I'm looking in the mirror, so that's the only way I'm gonna be able to record on my camera and with better lighting. Um, me, I am the first generation um college student. Um, my parents they just took a trade, so it's like you know they do have some kind of education background, you know, and they are certified in things and stuff like that. But anyway. In my case, I'm the type of person, I never was the person, a kid, that asked my parents for help. Now, they helped me in elementary school, but by the time I got in middle school and in high school, I was on my own. I was on my own. I, I had found ways to um to pass my classes with, with gra good grades without my parents' help. I would learn how to be independent. I learned how to study on my own. I never was the smartest, like, A student. I don't think I'm like the A student, but I was the student that was quiet, that got my work done, working basically almost a full-time job as being a minor in school, high school. I was working from soon I got to school to like 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock in the morning, still working. So I still managed to have good grades, um, A and B's and C's. I had a couple of C's, but only one C in like English or something like that. But since I've been in college, this is my third semester, um, I told y'all I've been doing great. I've been making all A's. The only thing I made was one B, and that was last semester. Um, I started in the summer taking two classes, so of course it was so easy for me to make two A's. Then it kind of got a little harder when I took three classes, and now I'm taking four. So it's like, oh my God, four classes. It's not easy because I am not, I was not brought up with just knowing things from my parents and having them to call them and stuff without, and asking for help because I can't ask for the help because they can't help me. Well, on the other hand, my boyfriend can help me with English. He's um he uh, graduated in German, but like I said, he's not first generation. His dad was uh, got a master's in finance, and so he got a, um some kind of he's not a first generation like me. So I have trouble trying to get through my work, and it's so easy to drop out. Like people who don't have the extra help at home, the extra their finances, things like that. Because you know, people who don't know me, because I don't really have that many finances. I mean, I'm saying that some do, some don't, because it's some don't. It's not things so hard that people, everybody losing their job. But anyway, but from my experience, I have to, I'm gonna have to, I rely on financial aid, and I don't get much for financial aid. Due to I was working so much that a lot of people are saying that like your your child income doesn't add on with yours. Yes, it does because I I make too much money within a year. So since that happened, I don't really get any money. Uh, financial aid just pay for my books, and then and I had a little scholarship to pay for my books. And now I have to. I don't know what I have to do for my next semester. I don't I won't have. I want to afford books. So it's so easy for me to drop out because you need books. You you have to have books. There's no way that you can go to college unless your teachers just do not and don't know whether your teachers go by the books or not, and which most do. Most do, and they're not cheap. Um. I'm like me right now. I'm struggling in school, but I'm not making bad grades. Um, I feel like if I'm going to make bad grades, I will want to withdraw out the class. I'm not the person that like to t like to self failure. I don't feel like failure is an option for me. But um, I know that um, when I take lesser classes, I do much better. Right now, I'm like taking. Let me see what time it is. Okay. Like right now. Um, I'm taking Spanish. Yes, Spanish. And it's not easy at all taking Spanish in college. I'm going to tell y'all now, if you're in high school, please. And I'm telling you, you're going to wish you did. You're going to wish you did. Because now I have to take eight credit hours worth of Spanish. I go to class four days a week. And I do that two semesters. No break at all. And I have a Spanish lab. I have math. I have to do go to school three days out of the week for that. I have social work, a lot of work. I got two internships. 
I have my schedule is so busy and so tight that I don't have really time to study. But it's nice that I don't have I don't sleep trying to study. That's things that first generation students don't have. Sometimes if you have to work, if it was sleep working, I would I, I I think I would have dropped out because I I couldn't work and do that at the same time. School finance aid you have to have so many credit hours in order to get it. So if one for even if that if it, let's be honest, if it wasn't for the finance aid, I couldn't even go to school. And that's one thing I want a lot of people to know. If you plan on having children or anything, think about the finances and the things that your child has to go through. This the society, nothing is free. And I'm just gonna let y'all know that. A lot of people say, Oh, you can get these loans. You get the loans. Get them. Get them. Have bad credit for the rest of your life. Unless you want to get your body, that's when you need to be pulling out them loans and you want your masters and stuff. Get loans then. Don't get loans when you just in your remediation classes, and yeah, everybody, you want to splurge on five thousand dollars, ten thousand dollars, and then when you get out of school or drop out of school, you're looking crazy and wonder what happened and wonder why you owe everybody money and wonder why you can't get a job without your uh, taking out your wages, taking out your um. They don't play about their money. Our rest gonna get you. They gonna get their money from you. And that's the thing. A lot of people telling me, um, you need to get them loans. No, I'm not. I don't have a job, and I'm not gonna pay them back. And I I can't afford that stuff. I just unless I'm going to get my master's, that's the time that I need to get that. That's the time you need to get things like that. But besides that, if you're not going to get anything like that, you don't need to go get anything when you're just doing your general education classes. You do not need that. Don't be persuaded. You can be easily persuaded. Yes, it's more better to get unsubsidized loans and things, but it's not worth it. I'd rather struggle than to Get something I'm not going to pay for or be able to pay for because you're going to have to pay them back with interest. You have to pay those people back. And that's a lot of things. They just they want they want to give you a loan because you have to pay it back. It's whether or not if you want to give pay it back, they're going to get theirs. So I'm just saying that. And anyway, like, like I was saying about the finances when you're having a child, I wish my parents put money back for me. Or I wish that I, when I was working, put money for my back for myself. Yeah, a lot of people have kids. Oh, my baby gonna be on finance aid. She gonna be all right. Yeah, she gonna be all right with bad credit when she get out. Because just because you got a degree under your belt doesn't mean you always qualify for a job. You are not always qualified for a job. I am doing things to be qualified for a job. I am going out volunteering time out, which everybody don't have time for that. Everybody don't. Everybody has to work and things like that. So they don't have time for that. They are stuck on the workforce part. But me, I am, since I want to go into social work, yeah, I may not be a, the very good talker. I'm a, more of a listener. I believe that no social, if you want to be a social worker, you shouldn't be a person that talks too much because it's not always about you. It's about the other person. So I think I make a, a perfect social worker as in far as listening to problems dealing with child welfare, um, family's welfare, things like that. And since that's what I'm going to be dealing with and I talk about in class, I'm, I see why a lot of students are so eager to get these loans and are, are easy to drop out because they can't afford it and that thing and them, thing, and them things. And so I understand how it feels to not have money and things because your parents did not have, don't have the jobs and uh, that, month, that kind of money to go to school. Um, take the uh, pay for your schooling and things. And as for me, um, my parents can't afford it. They can probably put a pay for a class or two, but they can't afford it. You know. So, um, but I wish that I put money back. If you're in high school and you're working or anything, or if you're just a person that's planning on having children, and that's one thing I'm gonna learn. Even though me, I'm gonna have a degree under my belt, regardless of what. Even though my boyfriend got one, we're gonna both gonna have one, and I don't want nobody to feel like, oh, that means though you're gonna have a lot of money. That's, it doesn't mean that, but it does mean that I'm gonna put money if I ever have a child. My money will be put back for that child's education because now things are getting cut, and especially in Florida. If you live in Florida, you understand what I'm talking about. A lot of money is getting cut. Funding are getting cut. People are losing state jobs 
and I'm supposed to, and I'm going to be working for the state and they lose a the job. So I'm already kind of expecting what things going to happen. Maybe I won't be in my field of my degree, but I will be working probably different things. So I may always, I might not get a job in my degree, and I have to understand it. I might not unless I'm being a pharmacist or something, and I'm not that smart. And so I'm smart, but I'm not that smart because I like to have fun. So I like to be myself. I'm not, I'm not that kind of nerdy girl. I like just I, I put work before everything else, but I have a life, and I am trying to do something I'm more comfortable with, and it's something I'm like. I do things that I like, not things that I'm I'm forced to do just because of money. I'm not clear for money. I'm here for more money, but not something I want a thousand dollars a year. I mean, a hundred thousand dollars a year or something like that. I'm not going to school for that. I'm, I don't care for all that. I just care for a, a, I can take care of myself. Anything over thirty three thousand, which I'm getting into, is fine with me. Thirty three thousand, over thirty three thousand, and some change. I'm there. Cause you can't make, you can't even make ten thousand working at McDonald's sometimes, unless you're a store manager. You might make good money. Store manager, get that. I like work. Be that. If you can take gas on my dollar income, I'm be rich. But anyway, um, yeah, I'm talking. I'm rambling. It's a long video, but yeah. Tell me what y'all think. What do you think the plans for people with lower income or mid income should do and and should re rely on in the future when you plan on having children and things? Because you have to realize you only got one life to live. You either gonna you either gonna downgrade or you gonna upgrade or you gonna stay where you at. That's all you can do. Me, since I got one life to live, I'm gonna go to school. I don't care if it takes me five years, I mean, ten years to finish it, I'm going to finish. Give me a good education. Get married. Have my, have my couple of kids. Have financial background, good financial background. Make sure my child knows things. I'm, I'm good at math. My man, my man is good at journalism and writing and things like that. So I'm pretty much good on that part as far as education-wise. I always have somebody to help me so I, he can't help me with math. But, yeah, um, I want y'all to think about that, what I'm saying about people are easy to drop, drop out in um, college. They don't even last that first semester without stressing and crying. It's time, I, it's time I cry in my eyes. I don't know nothing. But luckily that I'm at a school that I can get tutored and things with that, and I learned to get Use those resources that's there. A lot of people they don't tell you all the resources that's available, but you better learn how to get to those um, those resources because you're gonna need it. First generation students need that. So um, that's all I want to say. If you plan on having children and things, and you plan on want to make something out of your life, do what you have to do. When you worry about your children and things like that, you want to have kids and stuff. Think about putting money back for them because you talk about financial aid and everything gonna be just fine. Things, things, a lot of things are cut now these days. Think about your future. Things were bad. It's not the same like our parents and stuff grew up. Things were cheaper. It's easy to find jobs. It's easy to do all that stuff. But now you can't rely on assistance anymore. You can't rely. You can't. You can't. Rely on it no more. You can only rely on a loan, but you can't rely on the actual financial aid and money that is free for you. And and that's the thing. Nothing is free. So I really want people to think about that and think about what I said about what we go through. Luckily, I made it over the hump. I'm just getting a taste of what the real hard. I'm just getting a taste, a little taste of because I ain't taking my hard classes yet. Like my prerequisites, which I have to have a B in. That's when things gonna get hard for me. But I know now. I know how to schedule my um, classes and know what to take. So I just wish everyone luck. If you are for uh, first um, generation student, try to use resources. Try to get counseling. Try to um, get a good be surrounded by good people. Try to get classmates that can help you, and try to get tutors if you can. Do that. So I'm finna end this video because it's getting long. Bye, y'all.